Aries. This reading is for you. This will be your December 16th through the 31st. What is going on for Aries in December? This is a general reading, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, what do we have in December for Aries? Okay. We have the sun and the stars. Okay. Yeah, with the sun and the stairs, I feel like you, you're focused on your happiness. I feel like you're, you're feeling very centered at the moment. I feel like you're very joyous. Maybe, maybe December is your favorite time of the year, Aries. Very interesting. Okay, we have a higher view. Okay. At the bottom we have Beyond the Ordinary. Let's take a look at the animal spirits for December. We have the giraffe. Okay, Aries, currently you're a visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Okay. Very interesting. At the bottom you have the pronghorn. So... I feel like you're taking action as well, Aries. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Okay, beautiful energy, Aries. Hmm. Let's take an angel card. See what the angels want to say to Aries for December 15th through the 31st. I can't even speak now. The 15th through the 31st. What does Spirit have to say to Aries? Adriana, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps. I'm communicating through your intuition, your thoughts, and your dreams. So yeah, pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to what you're thinking about. Pay attention to the dreams you may have. And at the bottom you have your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So I feel like you, you are protected at the moment. You have divine guidance towards you at the moment, um, Aries. I feel like you're being protected in whatever situation you're going through. Whatever situation is coming. And I feel like it's pretty good so far. I feel like this reading is going in a good direction. What do we have for Aries for December? What do we have for Aries in December, please? We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay, I need to move this over some. And we have the Howard Punts. Okay. Let's see what else we have. 
We have the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Wheel. Okay. We have the Magician. You go, Aries. And we have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Wands. So definitely, definitely your energy, Aries. I feel like you are showing up in a strong position at the bottom. I feel like you're showing your strength. You're showing your beauty, your attractiveness. I feel like you are, you're very attractive at this moment and you're very confident, I feel. We've got the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Hierophant. So I feel like you're currently waiting for something. You're waiting for some kind of news. It could be that you're studying. And you're, um, it could be you're in college. With the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles. You could be really studying something. Or you could be, or you could be a teacher as well, but I feel like you are really working hard. You're carrying a lot of load. I feel like there are some things that you need to prioritize. There's something that you need to do. You could also be a lawyer in this situation, dealing with the pentacles. You could be an accountant, but I feel like you are. You're carrying a lot. You're carrying a lot, Aries. You are, you're happy with what you're doing, I think, but you're carrying a lot on your back. You're carrying a lot of weight. And I feel like you're looking for some relief. With this higher view card, I feel like you're kind of soul searching uh, because your, your, your energy right now is the, the three of wands so you're waiting for something to come through you're wanting to see the world i feel like you're really looking towards your future maybe you're preparing for your future but i i do feel like you know Life is slowing down. Life is starting to calm down for you a little bit here. Um, so you don't feel so much stress. You don't feel so overwhelmed. But I do feel like there's something that's stealing your energy with the Seven of Swords. There's something that's stealing your energy around you. There's someone maybe who's not telling you whole truths. Maybe someone's holding something back from you. Um, I feel like there's someone around you who's being dishonest. There's someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart. This may be a friend. Um, this may be some family member. Uh, but I feel like there's someone around you who's watching you and seeing what you're doing, Aries. And they're kind of, they're jealous. They're jealous of what you're doing. Because, yeah, you have the five of wands here. So I feel like this person who is seeing all the things that you're accomplishing, they're, they're jealous. They want to complete, they want to compete with you, but I feel like they don't live up to your standards. I feel like they 
realize that they can't do what you do. Maybe they don't have the ability. Maybe they don't have the knowledge. But I feel like they, they're they trying to compare themselves to you, Aries. But I feel like there's no comparison. Now, also with this, you have the, the visionary. So I feel like... You're rising above. I feel like you're coming back into your playful nature. You're making those changes. And I feel like you are really bringing something to life. I feel like you're using all of your abilities to make this change. But I feel like it's it's a joyful change. I feel like it's something that's going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of joy, um, good fortune. I feel like this is turning something that you're doing totally into your favor. I feel like someone's going to recognize you for your efforts. Now, here in this last row, I feel like you have protection. And it's a good thing you have protection. Because I feel like you're kind of drained. Um, I feel like you're wondering if what you're doing is worth the effort. If what you're doing is in your ability. I feel like you, you come into this really defensive feelings. Um... If this isn't you, this is someone around you who feels like they're not putting in enough effort into the situation. And they're very defensive, but they're feeling like they're being left behind. This may be your person. Or this may be someone around you. But in this energy, Aries, you're being protected. You're being protected from this. But yeah, this person feels like all the effort that they put into this hasn't worked. And they feel like they have to protect themselves. They have to defend themselves of what they believe. But they feel totally left out. They feel totally pushed to the side. Very interesting energy, Aries. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's get an outcome for this. What is the overall outcome for Aries? What's the outcome for Aries, please? The Ace of Cups. Okay. So... Oh, okay. And we also have the Five of Swords. So, now I feel like they just want to jump out. You also have the Queen of Cups and the Hangman. Okay, Aries. At the bottom, you have the Page of Cups. So, what you don't see, what you don't see, Aries, is that this is my believe the impossible is possible card when pigs fly you know um this could also be an offer this could also be an invitation um that's going to make you very happy it may be an invitation for love if you're not in a relationship it may be someone asking you out on a date but i feel like you are your overall outcome for the situation for this this um 15th through the 31st is going to leave you very happy. You're going to be overjoyed. You are going to have a new beginning in love if that's what you want. Um, this may be something that you're very passionate about that you have this new beginning in. Um, but I feel like with this Five of Swords energy, I feel like you are... You're worrying about the situation, but you're believing that it's going to work out. 
I don't feel like there's very intense energy there with the Five of Swords. I feel like you're worrying about the situation, but you have faith that it's going to work out. You have the Queen of Cups energy. This could be... Um, this could be this love interest that's coming through. This could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer who may be coming through for you. But I feel like whatever this is, it's leaving you kind of overjoyed, enlightened, feeling renewed. very interesting I feel like this person this Queen of Cups energy is kind of renewing your thoughts on the situation I feel like you feel enlightened you're changing the way you're thinking about something. Okay. Interesting energy. Okay. Now, if you're looking for a career, if you're in a career, Pisces, um, Aries, it may be a Pisces that's really coming towards you with this Queen of Cups. It may be a Pisces. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's get a card for career. Yeah, last quarter moon in Gemini. Clear your mind. In December, you'll want to clear your mind when it comes to your career focus, when it comes to your money focus. Don't make hasty decisions, Aries. Okay, it looks like two cards wanted to come out. Okay, so we'll take these two. Okay, and first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Yeah, be open. But this also can deal with love. Be, be open to new love, to this new love experience. And full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tensions. Yeah, like I said, with this Five of Swords, you know, I don't feel like it's anything that's very strong. But take a breather. Take a breather through the, through the situation. Breathe through your tension. Uh, don't let everything stress you out. Um, work is always going to be there. You know, family, friends. You're more important to them than you are a job, so... And that's just my opinion. So take it or leave it. Okay. And I think we'll take a moonology as well for this reading. What do we have for Aries? This is a general reading. What do we have for Aries? Moonology. Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Yeah, so it may be in in something. You have to make the first move in something. Um, and surrender to the divine, the full moon. You also have the end of a, a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. Now, let's get a word from the universe for Pisces. Excuse me. I keep saying Pisces. I feel like this Queen of Cups is going to be a Pisces theory. Okay. I honor how I want to feel. Okay. So, sometimes you may feel kind of deep. But, yeah, I think that you should acknowledge your feelings and, you know, don't discredit them acknowledge the way you feel obstacles are detours in the right direction exactly 
And when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided to light. Exact. I love this for you. Let's see. When I focus on the inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Yeah, so it may, it may be, if you're looking for love, Aries, you, you're open to love. I feel like love is coming through for you. If this is a career reading, I feel like your career is bright. You're going to have a few challenges. You're going to have a few obstacles, but I don't feel like it's anything intense. Um, yeah, keep your eyes focused for someone who really doesn't have your best interests at heart. Uh, someone who, um, may want to stab you in the back or gossip about you or, you know, put that out there. But yeah, for the most part, I feel like this is a really good reading, um, Aries. So this is your reading for the rest of December. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation if I have those uploaded. And have a wonderful holiday season if you celebrate it. Many blessings to you. Love and light.